The reason why we go back to old habits is because our goals are too lofty. We're not achieving our goals fast enough. So what happens is, you know what? Oh man, I'm, we're very impatient nowadays. For me, it was good. I didn't have a phone. I was, I was, I was out of this world by myself. It was a race against David Goggins. It wasn't a race against God. I want to look good for this person or that person. It was me. I got to change myself. So for me, if I lost five pounds in a week, I got a feeling. I allowed myself to feel proud of that. I didn't look at I got to lose 106 pounds. I'm like, man, I went from 297. Now I'm 292. In one week, man, I'm, I'm killing it. We don't, we're not proud of ourselves for the small accomplishments. What we need is we need this monstrosity of the thing to happen and say, ah, I did it. Nah, there's a process that you have to go through and patience is the process. And if we don't have patience after a week, I haven't lost 30 pounds and I'm done. I'm over it. So that's what I found out with people, man. They're not patient enough to realize and to enjoy the moment, not live in it, just enjoy it. There's no finish line in life, but enjoy that moment. Roger that, man, I lost five. Let me go 10 next week. So that's the whole thing about it. That's how people lose it. You know, something you said there where <clears throat> you said that you were in this race with yourself and that you didn't have a phone and you weren't connected to anything else and you didn't have anything to deal with except that other person staring back at you and talking shit. And it was, a, you went to war against that person. Right. And I was, we were just talking about this and about how important it is in order for you to find yourself. We've absolutely, there's certainly about suffering or pushing limits at, as one aspect of it, but also a detachment from all these other influences that are not, a, that keep you from dealing with yourself. And obviously we're living in this world today with, with all this technology that supposedly keeps us connected, but also uh, sort of keeps us separated as well. Right. I mean, it's, it's a it's a crazy place. And <clears throat> how are you going to build a relationship with yourself if you're completely distracted all the time? You know what? Being accepted is one thing that killed me. And you have to learn what do you want in your life? We have so much influence coming at us that we are so lost. We don't know what we want to do because we don't spend enough time with ourselves. You have to learn to shut off a phone, shut off a computer, shut off a TV. And it's okay to sit in a room by yourself in a chair and just think about you, where I want to be, where, where do I see myself tomorrow, the next year, the next year from that. And it takes a lot of self-discipline to be able to do that nowadays because you want to be so so attached to everything. You want to be so caught up with the world. The world's moving too fast. The world's moving so fast that you're trying to keep up to the point where you lose yourself in the world. So you have to take that time and go to that dark place in your mind and discover who you are.